Hi, I'm Judy Litt. Welcome to today's 15-minute yin yoga for happy hips practice. And my intention for you in this practice is to help begin to open your hips and maybe also to release stickiness, maybe in those hips, maybe in some emotions, because it is said that our hips are the seat of our emotions. And often the longer holds of yin yoga can help you get into those emotions. So that's totally normal. And if you don't feel anything when you're in those longer holds, that's normal too. It's your practice. For today's practice, you don't need any props, but you might want a couple of optional props around. I am sitting up on a block. You might find a couple of yoga blocks to be handy. And you also might like to have a yoga strap or a resistance band, which subs for a yoga strap really well. I don't happen to have my yoga strap up here or a resistance band right now, so I won't be demoing with that. Now that you know what we're doing and what you need, I invite you to go ahead and come to an comfortable seated position for you, whatever that may be. And often sitting up on that block makes it a bit more comfortable for us because it raises up our hips. And if it's comfortable for you, I invite you to close your eyes. We're just going to spend a minute or so coming into the present moment right now. So if it's comfortable for you, have your eyes closed. If it's not comfortable, close them as far as is comfortable for you. And gaze at the tip of your nose, letting the rest of the room just fade away. Begin to breathe in and out through your nose. And just notice how that feels in this moment right now. And don't really try and manipulate it in any way. And let your face relax. And let your shoulders feel really heavy in a good way. Let those hips begin to open. Relax your hands and your feet. And then slowly begin to blink your eyes open. You can continue to sit up on a block or a bolster or you can come to your mat. Whichever position you take, take your soles of your feet together and let your hips open, your knees open up, which is going to help open your hips to open up. <laughs> and your hands can be holding onto your ankles, onto your feet. Sometimes it can feel nice to take your hands underneath your legs. It's up to you. Whatever feels right in this moment today. And if it's really uncomfortable for you to have your knees open like this, you can take a block or a rolled up blanket or a bolster, if you have two bolsters, and put it under each knee and just give your knees something to relax into. Inhale, let your head be very heavy. Let those shoulders relax down your back. Let go of anywhere in your body that you feel tension. In yin yoga, we hold poses for a longer amount of time. We don't warm up. And the reason we do, do these two things if your body is warm, you are in danger of overstretching your muscles. And that's why we practice with no warm up with cold muscles. And we hold longer to help us get into our connective tissue. 
Everybody says they want to be more flexible. And really what they want is ease of motion, and that's mobility. And yin yoga, practice over time, can really help with that mobility. Make sure you're not feeling pain in any part of your body. If you do feel pain, please back out of the pose a little bit. Tension is to be expected. Sensation. Pain we do not want. And don't try and force your head to come towards your feet or your hips. And just let time and gravity begin to bring it closer and closer. Really letting go of holding on to anything in your body. Making sure your muscles are relaxed. Breathing in and out through your nose. Wherever you're holding on to your body, release. Take your palms to your mat. Begin to press into those palms. Begin to walk your torso upright. Head is the last thing to come up. And go ahead and take your hands underneath your knees and gently bring them together. If you're sitting up on a block or a bolster, I invite you to remove that now. But hold on to it. You may want that. Bring the soles of your feet to your mat and take your left foot to the block and we'll see how this feels in your body in just a minute. Your hands are behind your hips, fingers are pointing towards your body. Bring your left leg in towards your chest and then take that leg over the right leg. Flexing the left foot. This is seated swans. You can play with removing the block. We won't be in this particular pose too, too long. Having the block makes it a little easier. I like to try and bring my chest as close to my knees as I can. And that can increase the sensation on your hip. 
Now, if you're familiar with pigeon pose, which is called swan in yin yoga, you can feel free to go ahead and get into that. But this is a very accessible pose for most people. In fact, all the poses I am putting into this practice today are really accessible to most bodies. Another principle of yin yoga is that once you come into the pose and once you find your edge, come to stillness. So if you find yourself fidgeting into a pose, then you've gone too far and you need to back off again. Although if you feel your body begin to open up and feel as though you can go a little deeper into a pose, that, of course, is always a good thing. On your next exhale, take that left foot down. If you're using the block, move it on over. Take your left foot to your block. Take your right leg in towards your chest. And then take it over your left thigh. Right foot is flexed. Hands are behind you. Fingers are pointing towards you, or if it feels more comfortable to you, you might want to try them pointing behind you. That actually feels a little better in my body. This is your practice. Do what feels right to you. As long as you're not feeling pain. You notice any tension in your shoulders. See if you can breathe into that. See if you can let the tension go. Feeling into your hips. Noticing what is coming up for you in this practice. And go ahead and unwind your right leg. Move the block off to the side. You won't need that anymore. If you have a strap, you may want to grab it. Take the soles of your feet to your mat. Scoot your glutes up a little bit. And then begin to come down to your elbows. And finding your way all the way down to your back. Go ahead and grab the strap. And try and put it over around the balls of each foot. And take one knee in towards your chest, reaching through your legs, grabbing onto a big toe if you're not using that strap. And the other knee comes into the shoulder, trying to keep your shoulders and your glutes on the floor and taking those feet and pointing them up towards the ceiling feet are flexed so knees are bent in towards the chest feet are flexed and pointing up towards the ceiling 
Happy baby. And if you're using the strap around both feet, just go ahead and hold on to it either end down near your hips. And of course, you can always feel free to pause this video at any time and stay in any pose that feels really good to you. If you're a yin yoga beginner, you may find that 90 seconds, a minute and a half, is plenty for you. And that's a good that's a good time to start with for poses. Because that's how long it takes to get into that connective tissue. And as you practice more and more, you may find yourself lengthening the time that you can hold your yin yoga poses. It's not at all unusual to hold them up to five minutes. Again, just noticing what's coming up for you in this position. Trying not to attach to it, not to judge it. It's not good. It's not bad. It's just information. If you're holding on to a strap, go ahead and release that. If you're holding on to your big toes, let go of one foot, bring it down towards the mat, and then let go of the other foot, bring it down towards the mat. Gently roll over to whichever side fits, feels best to you, and slowly begin to take your palms to your mat. Eyes are still closed. Bring yourself into an upright, easy seated position once again i hope you enjoyed these three hip opening yin yoga poses they are <laughs> they are butterfly they are seated swan and they are happy baby these three poses, practice on a regular basis, are really going to help open your hips. Yin yoga in general has many, many great poses that will help open your hips. These are three that I picked for today. There really are no three best poses. And I hope you'll join me in my next video. And after this video on the screen, you'll see I'm going to invite you to five tips to keep your hips happy. Thank you so much for joining me today. And remember, go inside every day and find the peace, the calm, the happiness that is always inside you.